Donald Trump using basically racism and hate as a campaign strategy. And whether that's going to be working for the Republicans or not, it's, it's certainly, uh, you know, going, going after uh, Barack Obama, you know, has, has caused a, an explosion in hate groups in the United States. We're now over a thousand of them. Uh, definably, the Anti-Defamation League Center on Extremism found that domestic extremists, that's, you know, right-wing terrorists in the United States, killed 50 people last year, 2018, 37 people in 2017, uh, making last year the fourth deadliest for extremist attacks since 1970. Uh, one of those most deadly years was 2001 when mu Muslim extremists, but every single extremist killing in 2018 had a link to right-wing extremism, according to the ADL. Uh, the far right accounted for 73% of extremist murders over the 10-year period from 2009 to 2018, uh, compared with 23% by Islamic extremists. Nobody killed by an Antifa person ever. So how does, how does Trump do this? How, do, how does the right say, oh, no, it's those violent lefties out there that you have to worry about. Julio Rivera is with us. He's the editorial director of Reactionary Times, columnist with Newsmax, American Thinker, and townhall.com. Reactionarytimes.com is the website. You can tweet him at, oh, yeah, it's Julio. And uh, hey, Julio. Uh, and by the way, uh, you when when we had uh, brunch in New York uh, a couple of months ago, you, you told me you were moving to Europe, and you're now there. Um, uh, real quickly, because we've, you know, we've talked about this on the air as well as off, um, what do you what do you think of it? And and what do you think of? I don't I don't know if they have a national health care system in whatever country you've landed in. Where are you? Mm -hmm. I actually am in Plovdiv, Bulgaria. That's where we've moved uh, Reactionary Times uh, Global Headquarters to, and I love it. I'm having a great time. Uh, it's a nice, diverse mix of people here, and you know, it's a it's a really good time. Really friendly. Um, I'm I'm happy to be here. That's great. So, so tell me, how does this work? How, how, how is it, you know, Ted Cruz has, has said that Antifa should be labeled a domestic terrorist organization, yeah. which would, which would, you know, first of all, there is no central Antifa to the best of my knowledge. Um, but I mean, basically it's a, an abbreviation for anti-fascist. Um, how does, how does this work to the advantage of, of the Republican? You got Joe Scarborough this morning calling out Trump saying, you know, uh, Ilhan Omar never called our nation garbage. It was actually Donald Trump who said that. She called the po Republican policies garbage. I mean, you know, how does this work for you guys? You know what, first off, uh, the president, I think, has been unfairly victimized here as a result of those tweets that he sent out. I mean, I've read these tweets backwards, forwards, dissected them, you know, eight different ways to Sunday. There was nothing racist about these tweets at all. You've you know, never been told to go back to the country you came from? Decided to stand up. Well, was, yeah, go, well, well, why is that racist? If you don't like the United States of America, leave. You well, know, I, I don't understand. I've never understood that concept. He, he was speaking why that, to. Why is that racist? He was speaking to four women of color. I mean, you know, you're Hispanic. Have you not ever, has, has no white person ever said, do you go back to where you came from? Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to tell you like this. This is my theory on that. As a Hispanic, we found this place. I don't want to hear anything from anybody of any color. You know, at the end of the day, we, you know, America was discovered under the Spanish flag. This land is my land. So, I mean, no, if somebody tells me to go back home, I mean, what am I going to do? You know, go back to the United States. I mean, that's where I'm from. But, but my point is, and I think you maybe just made my point, is that that go back home is a racially based slogan i mean it has been forever no it's not necessarily it has nothing to do with race if these if all right so let's say we had a bunch of european you know i guess you could run for congress and not necessarily have been born in the united states so let's say we had a whole bunch of people here who were from nordic countries and they wanted to install socialist policies That's in the fair. united five, states five percent of congress Trump by the way made are... that same comment about them it wouldn't have been seen as a racist comment but he didn't it's make that same comment about racist them. comment you got 5% of the U.S. Congress right now are naturalized citizens, 5% of them. And I believe that only two of them are people of color. Um, there are, you know, there is a number of, in fact, there, there was a, a, a Republican on, on uh, I think it was a CNN a, a couple of days ago, uh, who, you know, looks and sounds just like, quote, an American, right, a, you know, white guy, but he said, hey, you know, I came here from Poland when I was a kid. And, and you know, when my English wasn't as good in elementary school, people constantly use the taunt, go back where you came from. I mean, this is... This is this is hurtful stuff. Listen, I mean, go back where you came from applies to anyone who's not a Native American. 
at this point. So, I mean, I just think it's ridiculous. This is a, the outrage mob. People want to be upset about so something. So how does this and work? And everything that Donald Trump has done since June of 2015 has been seen through the context of race. I wrote a column for ReactionaryTimes.com, and I broke down where the true racism is. The true racism is not on the right. It is on the left. We've talked about this, I believe, before. Simone Sanders, who was the communications director for your boy, Bernie Sanders, saying that we don't need Howard Dean and we don't need white men running the Democrat Party. That's racism, but she gets to get away with it because she's a member of the Democrat Party. She would have called Just it the like Democratic the Party, which is the actual name of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, don't, don't try to try, sidetrack me here. Tom. No, I'm, I know, I know I'm, I'm trying that. to model for like the media how to Virginia. call out people when they, when they mislay, misname the party. I don't call it the Republican Party. I call it the Republican Party. It's the Democratic Party. But, but your point that, that it's the left who are the racists um, is, is, is one that is being echoed far and wide across the right wing, you know, from, from Ted Cruz to Donald Trump to you. And I don't and think should, most people... It should be. I don't think most people are buying it, Julio. I think that most people know racism well, when they see it, and they're seeing Virginia, it in Donald listen, Trump. I, I, I got to make this point, if you, just, if you would just allow me this point. Sure. Look what happened in Virginia. Ralph Northam, the, and then you had the attorney general, blackface scandal. Nothing happened to them. Well, and it turned you know out we, there was no the evidence that it was actually him in the picture. Official, they don't. Well, they're yeah. not sure how that picture got on his on his uh, on his uh, page. But but that's one guy. I mean, here Donald Trump called Mexican immigrants no, rapists. Three guys. It was the entire. The, the, Do, let me I give you some quotes from Donald complaint. Trump. These are actual quotes from Donald Trump. Laziness is a trait in blacks. Immigrants from Haiti all have AIDS. When, now, wait, when, when did he say that? First off, I've never heard him. He say said that, that about three life. years ago. So I hope that you're sourcing that correctly. No, I am sourcing it. And uh, this, the, these are these are actual quotes, and you can Google any of these. Yeah, trust me, this is. He said uh, Nigerian immigrants who saw America would never go back to their huts. Um, he said we need less immigration from Africa and more from Norway. He said uh, he spent, you know, eight years claiming that uh, President Obama wasn't actually a, 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 an American, that, that he was, you know. And, Which was started and, you know, by Hillary Clinton, of course. Right. Yeah. He, he, he falsely the said, he narrative. lied, he said Obama issued a statement for Kwanzaa but failed to issue one for Christmas, trying to racialize the Obama presidency again. He repeatedly retweets white nationalists, just did it again two days ago. He said that some of the fine, some of the people marching in Charlottesville were very fine people. You know, he called Elizabeth Warren Pocahontas. He protested, he called protesting black NFL players sons of bitches. He, he was, he, he Listen, wouldn't yeah, disavow well, David yeah, Duke. Were, but let me say he referred to a Hispanic Miss Universe as Miss Housekeeping. Okay, listen, let me, first off, let me, let me, let me uh, contradict you on one thing. You said earlier that nobody has died as a result of Antifa, uh, you know, uh, forced violence. The, the fact of the matter is what, what happened in Charlottesville, and I'm glad you brought up Charlottesville because it made me remember that. Michael Signer, the mayor of Charlottesville, instructed his police force to walk opposing groups together and then told them to stand down merely for bad optics. That led to the death of that young woman. So don't ever claim... No, what led to the death of that young woman was... A, left was wing or Antifa or what, what, what led to the death of that young woman was some, some triggered snowflake right-wing incel who decided he was going to drive his car to a No, it, it was Michael Stigner walking the two groups into each other, Tom. That's it, why there was a fight, because instead of doing the right thing, which was... To so, so wait a minute. Let me, other, let me get this straight. excited and agitated it. Julio, what you're, let me get this straight. Are you saying that if, if, uh, if you and I, or somebody representing your side and somebody representing my side, are pushed together and your side decides to kill somebody on my side, that that's the fault of the people oh, who pushed us together, not, not, the, what happened, not the fault not of the people happened, who sir, decided to do the killing? You are sensationalizing it, Tom. That's no. not what happened. Where was the, the intention? Truth, Friday night, Friday Ooh. night in Charlottesville, and I remember that because I covered it extensively for ReactionaryTimes.com. What wound up happening is that Friday night, there were peaceful protests. There was no violence. The next day, once the news got out that, these, um, that they were protesting, taking down these statues, the left mobilized. There are paid protesters. The, the way it always happens. Paid by who? Org-funded type little groups. They show up the paid next day. Paid by whom? It didn't have to result. Who was paying Heather Hire to be there? Who was paying Heather Hire to be there? 
What evidence? I do don't you know. Have I, I don't that? have access to. I don't have access to our finances. I'm not saying that every single person there was a paid protester. I don't think anybody on the left was a paid protester. That happened. Listen, MoveOn.org took credit for in Chicago a few years ago. But they don't pay Trump protesters. Where a woman got beaten. A woman got beaten by uh, left wing agitators. Oh so my god! Act like it doesn't happen. Oh my god. No, I, you know, there, violence happens sometimes, and violence, you know, but, but so far, thank God, knock wood, so violence far, no Antifa like, person has me killed me anyone. Like, uh, Ilhan Omar got, there with the way you you've dismissively got, said that. Listen, a woman got beat in Chicago, and they had to cancel a Trump campaign rally. That's a violation of his free speech, and that woman was violated. She was yeah. physically assaulted. And, uh, and isn't that sad? Um, you're... Just, just to close this up, Julio, because we're going to hit a hard break here in a minute, 12 seconds. Um, how is hate a winning strategy for Trump? It's the fault. That's not his strategy. And that's how is not why telling people won. to go back where they he came won. from? He, how is that not hate? more people together and that, than Hillary Clinton could and her establishment ties, and people were sick and fed up with it, and that's why he won. And he's going to win in 2020 with love, not with hate. And that love is go back to the country you came from? No, it's a love for America. And if you don't love America, sure, you can go where he said it. They can leave. They can come back. They can do whatever they want because this is a free country.